Hey guys, you're here for another episode of Carl's Yu-Gi-Oh! Chat. I'm here today with Vinnie Gardner, Mad for Miniature store owner in St. Austell. <laughs> um, we're here today to talk about the very exciting Battle Pack. There it is, right there. Been rather excited about this down here since we heard of its release. Yep. And that it's got a certain card in it that everybody really likes. Mm, I, I wonder what that, that could be. Yeah, <laughs> I what that is. Um, this is released uh, Friday. Yep, around, this coming Friday. Around the UK and the rest of Europe. And uh, we'll be on sale at Mad for Miniatures, 9am. Yes. For the foreseeable future. <laughs> um, obviously I'll start off by telling you a little bit about the Battle Pack. Um, it's like the first Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG booster set designed for sealed pack play. Um, each Battle Pack it contains five carefully selected cards. It's got one rare card with a special glossy black or white writing, which has never been seen on a rare card before, which yeah. is quite nice. It's a bit like the um, Duelist League cards, yeah. but not black and white before, so. And, so yeah, then you get, um, the rare cards are normally game changers, so, like, big boss drop cards. That Ghouls. You can, yeah. Things like that. Some Solemns as well. Dark Magician of Chaos. Yeah. Yeah, that's in there. Yeah. Some, <laughs> some nice cards. And then you got three common cards each designed for something different. One will be a high attack monster, so you could have some cool exceeds like Adrius's or Tiraz's, or then like you've got, I don't know, some other big boss monsters. <laughs> Try and think of some. <laughs> I can't <laughs> uh, No, we've got like Dark Magician of Chaos, like um, other big things. Let's see, is it on here? Oh, it doesn't say any of the big monsters. We'll see in a minute. Lots of small monsters. Tall Guide. <laughs> Penguin Soldier. Penguin soldiers? Yeah, they're in there. Penguin soldiers are in there? Oh my god, I really can't wait to open this now. There's some pretty old school cards. Um, and then lots of XYZs like Adrius, Taraz, um, all those like hard to get cards up till now. And then like your magics and your traps, you've got like Forbidden Lance, yeah, Fiendish Chain, I've, I've seen MSTs, Forbidden Lance. Heavy Storms, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn. The, the power spell cards basically. Everything's and in. then some other hard to get hold of spell cards. But these make them look even nicer because some of them could be foiling. Yeah, well, uh, like, in every pack there's a star foil, which is a bit like the dual terminal. Um, yep. But these are new type of dual terminal, so they're nice and starry, not squared glass and rubbish. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> and uh, like every card in the pack can come in star foil, so you can get like a common tour guide or a star foil tour guide and stuff like that. Hmm. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, like we said, each pack contains five cards. In total there are 220 cards in the set. Yep. 55 of them are rare cards and the other 165 are commons. But like we said, you can get any any card in the set in Starfoil, which can make it look really, really nice, really glossy up your deck. Starfoil up your deck time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, the uh, bit more about the sealed deck play, uh, Konami have suggested uh, online that there's going to be two types of format. For the sealed pack, there's going to be advanced, where you would buy, or each player would buy 10 packs, and then you make a 40 card deck uh, to duel through the day, and then the casual play is with 5 booster packs. And you, yeah, and you make a 20 card deck, yeah. and play for the day. And then um, in America, it's been announced that there's going to be special Star Foil card prizes that you can't get in yeah. here, uh, but we're not sure about the rest of Europe and the UK yet, but hopefully it will come here in the near future. Um, there's cool cards like uh, I think you can get like Mystic Shine Ball and Starfoil and Ancient City Ruins and, and stuff like that. Just some just random stuff. Just some cool looking cards basically. Um, so yeah, we've got that. I think that's who, it. Wants to, who wants to see us open a box? I do. Do so you? Do, do you guys? Do you? <laughs> yeah, they're nodding. They're nodding. They're nodding. nodding. Little audience we got here. Uh, so he'll just open the uh, box. Ooh, very exciting. Exciting stuff. Look how excited Shake a little bit. Shake a little bit. Look at it. There they are. There they are. They're in the boosters. Uh, we'll open, like, shall we open six? Yeah, three each. Yeah, we'll open three each. We won't bore you with the whole box and then we'll just show you some of the cards. We'll try and get some close ups and um, just talk you through what we open. You can do the first one. Yeah. Power. Not been released yet. Uh, rock, XYZ, 2 level 4 monsters, 2 6 attack, earth, uh, 4 rank. This is vanilla that's a 2 6, it can beat over pretty much anything. It's got 1 9 defense as well. So it's huge. So enemy controller, I don't care. <laughs> mm, looks quite nice, there you go. Card is, is going to be boss. Oh, 
<laughs> Zephros the Elite. Common. Used to be Ultra. It's now Common. It's boss. <laughs> and probably worth about a pound. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is! Whoa, we didn't just record this. Look at that tour guide. Oh, man. there it is, the tour guide. The Star desirable Foil. card. Starfoil tour guide. So now, now what would that have cost me? One pound seventy-five? Sweet. <laughs> In your face, yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. Right. I've been wanting to talk about So there's one. Let's guy. see how many we can pull in this box. 39 Utopia. In common. Easy to get hold of now. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Good card. Good card. What, that's in two structure decks and um, yeah. this pack now. And now this. It's getting easy to get hold of, so. Sweet. I'll leave that there. I'm going to put that one there next to it. Gen yeah. Light Purple. Oh, Skill Drain. Skill Drain in Black Rare. It's like normally about four or five quid as a yeah. like a rare vampire lord. vampire lord. Is that the star for you? Lord, yeah. Sweet. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh. Godia and Star Foil. <laughs> That's nice. All the good cards coming out now. Yeah, we'll just edit it to make it seem as if we pulled like the five best. <laughs> or the six best. I think you might just have to put it all in. And uh Call of the Haunted. All the Star Foil cards look nice though. Like all of them. Yeah, I might actually play the same style for them. It's quite cool. I'll keep that one in mind. Yeah. I buy some stuff and I don't want some of the staff ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got another Utopia. Oh, Stuff Wheel Call of the Haunted. Oh, and a King Tiger Wangu in Stuff Wheel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. That, that looks nice. That actually looks really nice. It does look nice. I don't know if you can catch that on the camera. Maybe not. Our cameraman looks uh Ooh, snowman here as well. Really? Yeah. Oh, sweet. They've just got easy to get hold of them. Mm. <laughs> Thank God for that. Ooh, I just traded one of those. Black rare dark ride. Mm, good price. Well, not a black rare one, but yeah, obviously. I traded a super rare. Ooh, that looks two nice. Gemini elves. Two Gemini elves. Oh, another Gem Knight Pearl. Well, that's pulled cool. The second Gem Knight Pearl out of this one. So that's two in a box. MST. And Slate Warrior. Looking quite nice and star foil. Ooh! Obelisk the Tormentor. This card is boss in frogs. This card is boss in frogs. It's annoying. Yeah. And a break of the magical warrior. It's an old face. That's looking nice. Ooh. 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 Mirror Force. And yet another variation of Mirror Force. <laughs> in black rare writing. Mm. Oh, it fit, you can feel that as well. See my best. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, and a star foil obelisk the tormentor. There he is. Oh, no. card trooper as well. Nice. Just to rub it in. And a magic cylinder. Man, that would be a good seal. That would be, yeah. <laughs> Boom. Oh, oh, Vince pulling all the good ones here. You mock in your face. <laughs> oh man, this pack is cool as well. Oh yeah. Got me enemy like controller enemy. and a bazoo. And a bazoo the soul eater. And and, uh, was even the horn of the unicorn oh. looks good. Oh, Harpy's, Harpy's Feather Duster. Feather Duster. all spell and that. trap cards in your opponent's side of the field. <laughs> and a charcoal in Patchy, just because it's got beefy defense. Yeah, it's got different artwork as well. I don't think, is that, I don't know if that no, artwork's been out no, before. No, I think that's, the, I think that's new. Might be. I don't know. Pretty sure Maybe you can feather. tell us if it's not new. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got Harpy's Feather Duster from old, so I don't know. I have got one, but not that picture. Another Utopia. Oh! Common Forbidden Chalice. This card used to be so hard to get hold of. Not no more. Not no more though, because it's a mess. And a Metal Reflex line. Oh. Both. Oh. Black Rare Pot Dwelling. Man, could you imagine buying all these cards? Could you actually imagine buying all these cards separately? That would, it would just know. cost this, me What's so this, an eight pound card now? Yeah. You know? Well, tour guide. That's like still. That was like sixty quid. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Got it for one pound seventy five. You got that for one pound seventy five, <laughs> and then I got that the magic cylinder. That was just for free, and that was for free, and I'm go glad that was for free. And then boom, Vaulted Kong. Just, 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 mm. just because it's it's cool. That so it's a big good. electrical ape. How can you not like it? That's right. <laughs> Third gem night pearl. There it is. Three gem night pearls in this box. They're such good value for money. And then a mysterious guard. Got Zaborg, Gagagam Magician. This card's quite hard. Fun. 
and a reckless greed. Hmm. That look, does look quite nice in stuff. It's got a lot of play at the moment as well with the uh, with chamber. Dark and and chamber. And, yep. Not that I like that card because no. people just cheat with it <laughs> and still draw. <laughs> I've seen them do it. Not here. We're all fun players here. Nice. Oh, another United We Stand. Oh my god, that's so your star for it. So did I. I didn't want to see it and it just sort of popped out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just skip it. Oh, Doom oh. Caliber Knight. And a Tiras Keeper of Genesis. This card is boss. Awesome. Awesome source. So, uh, last two packs. <laughs> Can't let's get another toilet. Well, you know, I don't want to be free, do you? One's good. Yeah, oh, but number one's still good. Number one's still even better. Oh. Did you just see your back? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Got another Leviathan Dragon. Got a Blast for Chain. Quite a fun tech card. Oh, yeah. Um, that one. That one. <laughs> and a Zombrea the Dark. Zombrea the Dark. That's another bang card. Makura the Destructor. Oh, yeah, that's the one where you can activate trap cards from your hand, isn't it? That's right. That card's boss. Right. Okay. <laughs> Making sure you don't see it. Yeah. Okay, oh, so. Black uh, Rare Swords. Yeah, we've got Battle Fader, Swords of Revealing Light, and Black Rare. Ego boost, the okay. calculator, and the last card. Oh, Ooh. the White Knight Dragon. Boom. There we go. All done. So we got Obelisk Tragodia Tall Guy, and three Gem Knight Pals in that. So all in all, I think that's a success. Yeah, that was pretty good. It's a successful box with Gatchies. some gachies and some number 17s and skill, skill drains. Game. No chain or lance? No. No. Everything could... else pretty much. Yep. So, um, we, oh, we didn't get an address, but we've got a Tiraz. Mm. So. Definitely worth the money. Yes. Definitely. Thinking Tiraz and address used to be 15 each. Yeah. 15 to 20. Worth the money for that box. Bat pack. Out for day. Um, we'll take some shots of these um, <laughs> and we'll put them at the end of the video and um, I hope you get some good stuff in your um, boxes that you're going to be buying on Friday because hopefully everyone wants to they've got it, I mean, look at some of the cool cars you can get so guys, that's a quick little round up so that's just a little sneaky peeky of the battle pack um, hopefully you'll get some really nice boxes when you go to buy some on Friday here at Math Miniatures. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> um, boosters are 175 a pack and yep. 67... No, 56... 56... 70. 70. Got some of the numbers right, just mixed up. 56.70 for a booster box. So that's 36 boosters. That saves you 10% if you were to buy them singly. So, um, thanks for watching this episode of Carl's Yu-Gi-Oh! Chat. We'll be back with some more. Some more debt profiles, some more Yu-Gi-Oh! news. Till then, we'll see you all later. Ciao. Yeah.